Hi there. We're going to show you today how a private browser and using a private search engine really isn't private at all. How your search history and browsing history still can be found. First, let's start. We've opened up the Brave browser, the most uh, top rated private browser out there, and then we're on DuckDuckGo. So it's the top rated private search engine. We're going to do two searches here just to show you some unique words. Bebop, okay, and then we're going to search for Wiggle. Two unique words. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to show you how there's still search history in your browser. First we were looking for Bebop, right? Sure enough, there's our search for Bebop. And then we do Wiggle, and there's the search we did for Wiggle. Now I know what you're saying, well I use Start Page, and it doesn't track me, and there's no browsing history, I'm going to prove you wrong. We're going to do the same thing, Bebop. And OK, we're going to go up here and you're, you're going to see there's no Bebop, just the DuckDuckGo. But let's do this. Let's click on uh, the Bebop page, this one here. Bebop, it's the Bebop section. Now when you look in here, you will see it remembered our browsing history. So it may not have remembered our search history, but it does remember our browsing history. And here's the scary part. The browser that you're using, the Brave browser in this case, is on your computer. It recorded this data. So now that data is on your computer. We're going to show this to you. We use Brave browser. We use two different search engines. So we're going to go to our C drive because all of this information was stored already. Users, this is my computer app data, local, and Brave software, Brave browser, user data, default. And if you look here, history. Our history is now on our computer. Because everything that the browser does, because it runs on your computer, stays on your computer. It has to because data has to leave from your computer in order to see the site and then it gets downloaded and stored in your computer's memory. There is no way you can completely hide your search history and browsing history when the browser's on the device. Now we're going to show you with Trace Free how both browsing history and search history are never on the browser and never on the computer. Okay, we're going to show you now, when using Trace Free, you can use any search engine you want and you're private. There's no browsing history or search history. There's no trace of you online or offline. So first, we're going to go to Google because we don't need to use DuckDuckGo. We don't need to use a private search engine because they really aren't private. So we'll go to Google.com and we're going to search for something kind of goofy here. Okay, so let's go with, uh, let's just something goofy, Noogie, all right? Now, this script right here is all the identifiers of Google. Google is now tracking this device that we're on, which isn't ours. It's a server. It's not your computer. So we're going to go down here to Noogie, and we're going to click on the Merriam-Webster's definition. Merriam-Webster, pretty big name. Okay, we're on Merriam-Webster's site, and we searched for Noogie. So let's go in here and look and see if it remembered our search history or browsing history. So we're going to start with N-O-O -O just to start and you'll see there is no evidence of our search at all. In fact, if you look close, Google is asking if you want to search for, and I'll make a Noogie here, if you want to search with a, for, a search for Noogie, it doesn't remember that you just searched for it. In fact, we're on the Merriam-Webster's website right now. 
it doesn't even know that we're on the Merriam-Webster site. I'll even show you here. Mer let's just pull Merriam, so you can see. Merriam, it does not even know we are on the Merriam-Webster site right now. So with Trace Free, there's no browsing history, there's no search history, and then finally we're going to show you your, your Trace Free online, but also your Trace Free offline. We're going to show you our C drive, Users, My Computer, App Data, Local, and we'll go down here to Trace Free. Okay, this is showing a one kilobyte file, tiny, tiny file. That is all the evidence you have on your computer where you browsed. There's no evidence, there's no history, there's no search history, browsing history, cookies, cache, nothing. All this file is saying is that this device used trace-free sometime at, at 8.25 this morning. You can be trace-free online and trace-free offline with trace-free. Trace-free is the only way to be completely and sa completely safe and private on the web. No browsing history, no search history, no cookies, no cache, and the best part, you cannot get a virus when using trace-free.